Hi guys, Mimi G here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a sew along to my new Simplicity Pattern 9701. It's a square neck bodycon dress. Now this is not a learn to sew video, so if you need further help, you might consider visiting my online sewing and design school, sewitacademy.com, where the first five classes are free through our free trial and no credit card is required. Let's get started. So we're gonna be working on my Mimi G pattern 9701. I'm gonna be making the long version. You can do either one. It doesn't matter. The only difference is a cut line. So just cut for the shorter or the longer one. Remember that on the back of the pattern envelope, you're always gonna find a list of suggested fabrics along with any notions that you're gonna need. In this particular pattern, you're not gonna need any notions. So it's only five pieces. It's an easy sew, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut piece number one. This is our front, you cut it on the fold. You're gonna cut out pattern piece number two. This is our back and you're gonna cut two because this does have a center back seam for better fitting. You're gonna cut out pattern piece number three. This is our front facing. You're gonna cut the front on the fold. Pattern piece number four is our back facing and you're going to cut two. It also has a center back seam. And then the last piece that you'll be cutting is pattern piece number five. This is our sleeve and you're gonna cut two. Okay, so I just wanna point something out. I have all of my fabric cut, but I wanted to talk really quickly about what I chose for my facing. So for your facing, if you're using something like a velvet, which I'm using here, this velvet um, is available at melanatedfabrics.com. I think we have it in four or five different colors and it's really easy to work with. It doesn't slip and slide like most velvets. So if you're using something bulkier like this, actually this is pretty thin, but you could use um, a trico lining or you could use um, a lighter weight knit because you want to line your knits with a knit. In my instance, I always um, choose to line my knits with mesh. So this is power mesh. We also have this in the store at melanatedfabrics.com. Um, we have four different colors. This is just what I had here at home, but the reason I like it is because one, it's really light, it's obviously sheer because it's a power mesh, but also um, it adds a little bit of stability to my dress so I don't always have to wear Spanx, which is always a bonus, which is also why you'll notice that I cut Instead of just cutting the facing pieces, I decided to cut the short version of the dress as lining for the long version of my dress. So you could do that, right? If you just wanna line the top with the facing, you can absolutely do that and just cut the pattern pieces according to what you have. But if you want to do what I'm doing and use a longer version, so this will sort of go below my knee, then I just use the same pattern pieces as the front and the back and just cut the dress out. But instead of making it full length that I wanted the long one, I instead just cut it at the short um, dress line. And I'm gonna work with it same way as we would our facing. So nothing changes, it's just think of it as my facing is just much longer. <laughs> so once you have your fabric and your facings cut out, we can get started. All right, guys, we're going to start with our back with right sides facing. We're going to go ahead and sew our center back seam together. So go ahead and pin. Now, depending on the velvet that you're using, I, I tested my fabric out like a little piece of it before I start sewing just to make sure um, that I'm using the right needle, that my tension is correct because velvet tends to slide on itself as you sew and it's really hard to keep both layers together. You can always use a walking foot um, and try that, see if it works or just use a whole lot of pinning. In my instance, this velvet does not creep on itself very much, so that's good. Um, but I did write a blog post on um, just my tips for working with velvet, and I'll link to that in the description box below. Okay, once you have it pinned, go ahead to the sewing machine and you're just gonna stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now that we have our center back seam sewn, we're gonna lay our front over the top, right sides facing and we're gonna stitch and we're gonna pin along the side seams and our shoulders. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at the shoulder and then you're gonna pin all the way along your side seam. Make sure that you match up your notches. 
Okay, once you have your entire side seam and your shoulder pinned, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Then you're gonna do a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Start at your hem and work your way up. Do that on both sides and then stitch across your shoulders again using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Okay guys, once you have your side seam sewn and you have your shoulders sewn, go ahead and put the dress on. Make sure you don't need to make any fit adjustments like maybe taking it in or in some cases maybe even letting it out. Um, I did take mine in just a smidge at the waist. Whatever changes you make to your dress, make sure that you make those same adjustments to your facings. You're gonna sew up your facings the same way you did your dress. So here I have sewn up my side seams. And whether, again, whether you're using the short facing or you decided to do what I'm doing, it's exactly the same. You're gonna sew your side seams. You're gonna sew your shoulder seams. And now you're gonna leave your facing wrong side out and your dress right side out. We're gonna slip our facing over the top of our dress. Make sure that front is to front <laughs> and back is to back. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pin around my neckline. I'm gonna first make sure that my shoulder seams are lining up and pin. Also, I wanna make sure my back seam is lined up. Okay, once you have your entire neckline pin, you're just gonna sew around using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. All right, once you've stitched your neckline, you should obviously understitch. So I have understitched and I trimmed off my seam allowance and then pressed my um, lining to the inside or my facing to the inside. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, if you'd like, you can go ahead and baste these together because we're gonna be attaching it as one to the sleeve. So go ahead and baste your dress to your facing along the armhole and then grab your sleeves. With right sides facing, we're gonna go ahead and sew the underarm seam. So you're gonna go ahead and pin. You're gonna pin your other sleeve the same way and we're gonna stitch using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and pin our sleeve to our dress. So first I'm gonna match up my underarm and my side seam. Then you wanna go ahead and match up your notches. And then I like to pin my shoulder seam to that notch that I made at the shoulder of my sleeve. And then I'm going to slightly pull and pin the remaining area. If you need to ease, you can go ahead and snip. Okay, once you have it pinned, you're gonna go ahead and pin your other sleeve to the other side the same way, and we're going to stitch all the way around using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Okay, once you've attached your sleeves, the only thing left for you guys to do is to do the hem of your sleeve and also the hem of your dress. I would try it on one last time just to check the length um, and then I would do uh, finish off my hem. Now remember that the hem on the um, dress and then the hem on your sleeve does stretch around your body. So you want to use a zigzag stitch when you do the hem. We're working with vertical seams on the side so that wasn't necessary, but for anything that's going to be stretched along the body, like the sleeve hem and the hem here at the bottom of your dress, you will want to use either a very narrow zigzag stitch to do your hem or a lightning bolt stitch if you have one. After you've done that, you are all done. All right, guys, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this sew along. If you make my pattern, please post it on your socials and tag me at Mimi G Style. I love to see your guys' makes. Until next time, peace.